Hello friends, both old and new. I am John St. Baptiste and this is Music Makes the People Come Together, where we share amazing and eclectic music with amazing and eclectic people like yourselves. This is this week's playlist. We are going through Game of Thrones like a hot knife through butter. And this week we are doing season six. This is my track by episode breakdown. And I am excited to share it with you. That's what the channel is all about. I share music with you. You share music with me. We share music with each other. So please share music with me. If you have anything you want me to check out, drop it in the comment section down below. Uh, Midweek Music Ear Candy is going to be coming back very soon. I am sorry that it has been off the rails for a bit, but I have had a whole lot going on in both my personal life and my channel life. But this is going to be happening again, and please share music. Just share music. That's what this is all about. So we're going to take Season 6 of Game of Thrones, and I am breaking it at track by episode. First episode is The Red Woman, and this is when we get the big reveal about Melisandre. And ironically, uh, I chose Amazing Grace. Uh, this is a wonderful recording by the uh, Scottish Highlander Army, um, and I think it's apt. I. I it's, it's ironic at first thought, but I really don't think it is because this is about finding your faith through adversity. And even though she does not in this episode, she does eventually. And I mean, I got to admit, this is a great way to start off a playlist. It's a good track. Following that is episode number two, Home. I chose... Nothing Left to Lose by the Alan Parsons Project. This is off their album, Turn of a Friendly Card. One of my favorite albums of all time. And I think it's very definitive. Theon goes into this having nothing left to lose. Uh, the Sparrow even says you have nothing left to lose. Oh, frack that Sparrow. I'm not a fan. Uh, Tyrion, when he goes to free the dragons, nothing left to lose. Arya says no when she's offered her. I We can go on and on and on with this, but the, this is the entire, at least to me, uh, description of this episode, and I think it works quite well. After that, a band that I have wanting to been sharing, want, that I have wanted to share with you for so long. This is Elvete. Uh, they are a Swiss folk black metal band. Okay, A, nothing beats somebody headbanging while they're playing a hurdy-gurdy. B, this is an awesome track. It's Rebirth, uh, and it is for the episode Oathbreaker. Oh my gosh, I think it works so well. Uh, for, for Jon Snow, I mean, it's obvious. But also, you have Bran's vision. Uh, you, you have Tommen trying to be a king. He, he really is trying to be a king. And you have Arya's eyes. Oh. My little girl got her eyes back. And that... The episode's about rebirth, and this is a great track about it, and... I I think it's apt. I think it's really good. Um, and I, I think it's fitting. Next, we have the episode The Book of the Stranger. And I chose The Unforgiven by Metallica. This is off their 1991 album, The Book. Called the Black Album. It doesn't really have a title, um, but it I think defines specifically uh, Theon 
Marjorie and Cersei. They're all characters who are unforgiven for the things that they have done or allegedly done. And also, I, I think it just works so well into the character of this episode. What I've felt, what I've known has never shined through, and what I've shown, never seen, never made, so it does the unforgiven. It, I think, works perfectly. Next, we have the episode The Door. And oh my god, Night of the Laughing Tree! I know you're out there. You're going to love me for this. I picked a song by a band I don't particularly care for. And that would be The Doors. And I chose The End, uh, which is one of the few songs I do really like by them. Uh, this is off of their self-titled album from 1967. Uh, I... It, it can be used very well in film. It can be used very well to define film and cinema. Uh, you know, watch Apocalypse Now. Please, watch Apocalypse Now. It will disturb the fuck out of you, but please watch it. it, it um, but yes, so I chose the end. Uh, pivotal moment, and, you know, yeah, it's it's... I, I didn't really mean anything funny by this. I just thought that it would be a good track to pick for this episode because this is the end, my only friend, the end of our elaborate plans, of everything that stands. I, it, it, I, I do think that it's a perfect track to define this episode. And so I put it in, even though as I've expressed numerous times. I, I'm not a fan of this band, but I really do like this song. So, Knight, give me props for that, please. Give me props from Australia. Please. Like, say hey from Melbourne. You do well. Uh, next, we have Blood of My Blood. And I picked Father to Son by Queen. A, of course, I have to put a Queen track in every season because that's like kind of a rule that I made for myself. It's a corner I painted myself into, but I'm really liking it because I, I it shows you the brilliance of Queen that their songs and their music is so applicable to so many different things. And I picked Father to Son. This is, uh, and I also included Procession. Which these this is the first slash first second track off of the album Queen Two, and uh, there are so many of these moments. There's the moment with Benjamin Stark and Samwell, who obviously Benjamin is not Samwell's father, but he's a father figure to him in a kind of way, and he was a father figure to Jon Snow. And then there's the ironic level that you know there's a whole lot of irony in in this season. Uh, this is why this playlist is called Paradise Lost. Um, because there is the whole dichotomy and situation between Randall Tarley and Samuel Tarley. And me personally, I could not be more proud of my kid. But he's not. And it's 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 really sad. Uh, I it's a little heart wrenching, but I I, I I think it works for the episode. Um, and as followers, I hope you do too. Next, we have the Broken Man, and I chose Redemption Song by Bob Marley, which. Oh, pirates, how they rob us, the life from the merchant ship, minutes after they took off from the bottomless pit. I mean, this entire episode is all about redemption and character redemption arcs and characters becoming redeemed for the sins they've committed. And I, I, 
for me, this was my no-brainer. Um, I, I and I, I think it works out well. I, I, I'm not being as descriptive in this as I normally am because I've I've been asked to shorten some of my playlists, so or or, or at least my talking about them. But uh, I, I, if you like this format, let me know. If you like me going really heavy hardcore into the tracks, let me know that, please. But I'm trying it this way for this episode, and you let me know what you think. After that, we have episode number eight, which is No One. And, oh, my little girl, Ari Stark. And I always have to include an electronic track. And I always have to include an Arya Stark focused thing, and usually they coincide because that's just how I think. I, I do love me some electronic music, and I do love me some Arya Stark. So I chose BLXW and Majo's remix of I Will Survive. Classic track, and uh, uh, if anything, that's what Ari does. But it's not just focused on Ari. Every character in this episode displays how and how well they can survive. So I think that that's very important, and I think that that's something one should take away from this. And also, this is just a sweet freaking track. <laughs> And I really hope you enjoy it. Um, sorry. Getting a little sidetracked, but I love this track. I, I, I really do. Uh, then we have the Battle of the Bastards. And I chose a really awesome song that's really close to my heart. Uh, it's Stand Up and Be Strong by Soul Asylum off their 2006 album. Uh The Silver Lining. Uh, they put this out right after Carl Mueller died, who was their bassist. Uh, they recorded it during his death. He actually recorded a little bit of music on there, even though he was in chemo at the time. And it, you may be right, you may be wrong. Stand up and be strong. It, it, This is an emotional episode for me, and I know for a lot of people this is their favorite episode in the entire series. Um, it, it's definitely in my top five. And for me, this song embodies the whole concept of what's going on there. And I think that it just really works. And finally, we're going to end with The Winds of Winter, which personally for me, is my favorite episode of this entire series. And I chose Cat People by David Bowie. And I even gave you guys a live recording. This is from his uh, Serious Moonlight tour. I actually have this on VHS. And yeah, it's all about Cersei. The opening scene, because when I was watching it, yes, Ramon Javadi and his music is amazing. But when I was watching this, I heard this song in the back of my head. I am putting out the fire with gasoline. And yeah. Enough said. So yeah, there we go. Um... So that's my take on Season 6 of Game of Thrones. Uh, trivia from last week was kind of answered by Dog Sidious, or uh, The Dog Show, and kind of answered by Julian089, who is my artist, who does these amazing thumbnails that you see all the time on my channel. Um, please check her work out, because uh, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. The work she does is unbelievable. And Julianne, 
blessings. Everything you do is just so wonderful. But last week's question was name. Um, oh heavens. Name five songs that Johnny Cash has covered, or five artists that Johnny Cash has covered. And between the two of them, they did bust some out. They busted out uh, Tom Petty and Chris Cornell and um, I, I, they got them all. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not remembering off the top of my head and I can't find my notes. I apologize. They did get them all. You both, between the two of you, get a smooch, and you're going to get a special track to share. My question this week, my trivia question is... Uh, the Alan Parsons Project. What did Alan Parsons actually do in that band? If you can answer that... You'll get this week's smooch. You'll also get a track of your very own. So please answer that and enjoy it. And um, I will drop the answers to last week's trivia in the comments section. I'm sorry, I'm not like, uh, I can't find my notes. But I want to make sure this happens, but I am on a bit of a time crunch tonight. And I apologize for that. So, I'm going to let you go check out the music. Please do so. The track list is in the uh, description down below. Also, there are some amazing content creators that you should check out in the description down below. Like, uh, Lawrence Corner, AU Pack Mule, Indie Geek, Entertainment Hacker, and of course, my co-host, Johnny B. Crazy. Co-host on the Silent Johns, who check out his work because he puts out some amazing stuff. So please do that. I'm going to let you all go. In the meantime, if you would please be so kind, be excellent to one another, and party on. <laughs>